cold weather supplies, as you can imagine, they're in hot demand uh, right now. Our team coverage continues with Fox News. Jeff Bernthal, he is live from Bridgeton. That's where shoppers have been stocking up on winter supplies. Jeff. That's right, Elliot. Uh, before we take you inside the store, let's show you the storage facility out here at Branicky Hardware in Bridgeton. Take a look at all these piles and piles and piles of ice melt product they have on pallets that go all the way down the wall here. They are stocked and ready to go. Plenty of material. And what's really selling right now are those items related to staying warm. They are stocked and prepared for a shopper who's looking for things like ways to keep water pipes from freezing, insulating homes, or just heating. Now, we also spoke with AAA about ways to avoid being stranded. Checking on that car battery is a big one. Here now is the owner of Branicky Hardware talking about just a few of the winter items that are popular right now, followed by AAA advice on making sure your car battery is ready for the winter, winter weather ahead. And stuff to protect your faucets. Um, we got these little things here, which are faucet protectors for outdoor insulating kits. You know, to insulate your windows, we got those. Um, little draft, draft reducers, throw these in front of your door. Helps reduce the draft. But other than that, you know, when heaters are, are really big, I mean, we're selling a ton of heaters. It's so cold. Your battery loses about a third of its starting power when temperatures drop below freezing, and it only loses more power the colder it gets. So, you know, with the temperatures we're expecting this weekend, you want to make sure your battery's in good working order. If it's more than three years old, AAA recommends having it tested. If it's more than five years old, we recommend go ahead and replacing it so it doesn't die and you, for, you know, when you're somewhere you don't want to be. And AAA says when extreme cold hits over a weekend, like we're experiencing, what they end up seeing is that when people head back to work after staying indoors all weekend, that's when they discover there's a problem with their car battery. Just something to keep in mind as the weekend moves forward. Reporting live from Bridgeton, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.